Hello guys. In previous video, I shown you how to deploy Nginx Ingress Controller on Kubernetes, and I made an example with it. Today, in this video, instead of using Nginx, we will use Istio to manage traffic on Kubernetes cluster. Then, we will make an example that is using Istio to distribute the traffic load using different rules. Let's start. In Windows Admin Center, we open PowerShell window. I will make it smaller. You can also open Kubernetes dashboard to monitor the cluster. OK, now we start download the Istio packages for Windows. Keep in mind that all commands are available in video descriptions or GitHub repository. The downloading is done. Now we extract zip file. OK, let's check Istio folder on C drive. Remove the downloaded file, we don't use it anymore. In order to use Istio control command, we need to add the bin folder to path variable. In Hyper-V server, it has a little bit complicated. First, get the old path. Next, append new value to path. Then, set the new path value in registry. Finally, update PowerShell path environment variable. Now, Istio control command is ready to use. Let's install Istio with demo profile. When it's done, we should take a look on Kubernetes dashboard. New namespace is created, it belonged to Istio, everything should be green. Now, make automatic sidecar injection on default namespace. We can get info of ingress gateway service. The service type is load balancer, because I deployed metal load balancer on this cluster. Please check my previous video, to know what I did. Next, we should deploy some useful dashboards, for monitoring like Kiali, Prometheus, and so on. After that, we need to create some node port services. It makes those dashboard can access from outside cluster. Now, we add a static mapping to a NAT instance. It makes all created node port services are accessible outside Hyper-V server. For example, I can open dashboards from my laptop browser. Check it out, I try to access those dashboards. Next step, we have to allow external access to Istio Ingress Gateway. All incoming HTTP requests will be routed to Istio. Again, in Hyper-V server, we add a static mapping to NAT instance. It will allow access on port 80 of Istio Ingress Gateway. Let's check the IP and port of Ingress.
Perfect. Now we will run the mapping command. Oh no, I think Nginx is handling port 80. Let's me check and stop Nginx. Let's check in processes tool. It's running, I should stop it. And we should delete firewall rule of Nginx. Now try again. Good, it worked with no issue. New static mapping has been added successfully. Now, let's deploy an example app. In this sample, when user access to an endpoint, 50% request will be pointed to Apple app and remaining will be banana app. This type of deployment is called a canary release. Istio distributes the traffic load using different rules. Okay, let's go. Create a namespace, you can use the other name. Enable automatic sidecar injection on that namespace. Deploy apps to Kubernetes. All resources are available on GitHub. Take a look on Kubernetes dashboard to make sure apps are deployed successfully. Next step, we point a domain to IP of Hyper-V server. User will access to deployed apps by using that domain. For me, I'm using a local DNS manager in development. Open browser and test the result. Thank for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.